detail. Natural history. Okay, actually, that's a really good one. Reformer coinage. We're still doing that because I'm still trying to get trade routes of people. But look at this. Trading post created. Right, that's Persia. Persia is done. Congo's route will be done in 26 turns. 23 turns for the Aztecs. 20, uh, 31 turns for the Gauls. 7 for Brazil. If I do keep Belém open, which I might do, actually. I might just keep them in the game. They're quite fun now. I'll keep liberating them. I'm going to keep everything else, but the lemon I'll, I'll kind of let off. There is Vatican taken over now, which means if I pop a great person, I think it's six tiles away, gets my religion. It says ten tiles. I think the game is glitched. So if I pop uh, my Admiral here, I should go bam, like that, and spread it to all the cities at once, which uh, didn't do much, but, you know... Is, is better than doing nothing. Smallest trade route I can do to the mains is 42 turns. Oh my word. Which one is that to Tikal? That's quite a safe, safe uh, route. Okay, I'll do that, but oh, 42 turns. Okay, fine. Well, in order to get the trade routes then, we need to be waiting at least 42 turns for this game. I mean, this was going to be a long game anyway, but this is, this is going to be pretty... Pretty dodgy. 49 techs for the Aztecs now. Oh my goodness. They've got rocketry. Uh, I believe they're probably going to be building spaceports sometime soon. Let's just have a quick peek. Yeah, they're building spaceports now. Oh fun. Oh fun. It's a ridiculously large amount of money, but I'm going to spend 6,500 gold on a general next turn because I can pop them here to do another boost of religion. Like all of these little tricks. I'm currently using right now to see what I can pull off. Golden Age! Golden Ages are great and brilliant. Perfect stuff. Dark Ages for like Gaul and the Aztecs and Congo and Brazil. Like, okay, there's, there's stuff, but I mean, they're not going to lose anything quite that interesting. Congo lost that city. The Aztecs lost that city. Oh dear. Okay, the Gaul actually lost a city that was following my religion, which is a little bit annoying, but never mind. You know, actually. Just saving the great general idea just for a second because I've now got a situation where I can go one attack, two attacks, and then if I do this, I can go three attacks and I've taken over significant cities on this continent now. Minus 28, minus 22, minus 31. So clearly it didn't help at all. But if we can take over some more cities, we should be able to actually try and do this. Unless I just give them all back to Brazil and get loads of favor and sell it back that way. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do we give it back to Brazil and just cause chaos? Or do we keep it? You know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep them. Keep. 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 Right. Yeah, the loyalty's pretty pants. Pretty pants. And that's mainly because of his 13 pop 3 city in the middle there. But that's fine. We can do this. We can go colonial offices. That'll give three loyalty per turn to each city. It's a small bonus, but it is a bonus. We'll go for two loyalty per turn for cities with a garrisoned unit as well, which they all kind of do. Minus 23, minus 17. So I've bought myself like one turn. That's poor. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We'll um, we'll just have to use what we can. Oh, cast bots, because of course I've got no nighter. And no one's selling nighter, unfortunately. Which is a little bit annoying. So I can't even get myself decent siege equipment. Yeah, maybe actually I should have I should have just given this up. Never mind. Oh no, my trade route to gold has appeared. Oh, this is so frustrating. Damn it. Okay, right. Well this is this is getting This is getting highly frustrating now. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Why? 52. 52. Oh my god, I can't be bothered to wait 52 turns, but I'm going to have to do it because this is the challenge. This is the challenge. Oh man, I have to send it to this city because I think that one's less likely to flip. 52 turns. Oh my god. Okay, I want more trade routes. That's good. Um, I'm going to vote for the Aztecs on Diplomatic Victory because they have the most points. And I'm going to go for... Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Should we go city centre again? Let's go city centre, but I'm going to force that one through. Trade policy, that's good. World's Fair sounds good as well. Perfect. We did it. Actually, the loyalty settled down a little bit. Huh. Well, okay. That's that's good. Minus four, minus nine, minus two. Okay, perfect. Well, maybe we can try and take over another city. Manassas is pretty, pretty well defended. 
but I mean, maybe I can. Come on, Aztecs. You need religious units somewhere, right? Where are you? Where are you going to be? Come out, come out, come out. They're not, they're not going to be, they're not going to be biting today, I don't think. Hey, trading post in Brazil. Done. Getting that. Slowly getting that. Okay, 16 turns until we've got one of the Aztecs. And then 19 turns until Congo. 35 turns until Mayans. 48 until Gaul. I mean, how hard could it be, eh? How hard could it be? There eyes. is flight. Santa has his sleigh. Middle's gonna be it's gonna be glorious. In the meantime, Bellam has now gone. Now we did manage to put a trade route onto Bellam, so I'm not feeling too bad about the idea of getting rid of my uh, sort of slightly dubious alliance with them. What I am doing in the meantime though is just getting builders to appear and I'm going to chop down all the rainforest in these areas to just try and push my my population up as high as I can. Actually, might be quite effective. I hate doing this, but I'm going to burn two of my apostles. This one removes 75% of the religion, and this one is triple strength. Now, this means Christmas cheer should be pretty much there now. now hopefully, just getting rid of the religion, that's going to be enough to convince them to buy some more apostles. I've got more on the way. But if I can just lure them out, I can start to spread. Attack, 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 attack. Bellem is pretty much stuffed. Chop, 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 chop. Perfect. All right, two more cities. Bellem has been taken, and now Karabata has been taken. I'm going to keep it, and we're going to keep it. Okay, Bellem in four turns. That's all good. I've got my Inquisitor. My Inquisitor's just running along, providing religious boosts to everybody, which is very handy christmas cheer Ba-dump. and we can even spread christmas cheer by using lovelace once bam like that computers have been boosted and ah oh, look at all these cities these cities are now falling to me christmas cheer is unavoidable and intoxicating oh and mulan i'm getting heroes by the way kind of like everywhere just to help me i mean how could you say no to heroes Building aerodromes as well, don't forget, I can't get rid of reindeer. That's not allowed. Attacking, and then we are attacking. We should take that city pretty quickly. So this is my little city above Gaul. And uh, what I'm going to do is just make sure I can get one more governor. That'll be quite handy. Um, I've got government plazas and everything set up. But as soon as I get one more governor, I can do the thing where I can purchase in districts with faith. And I can get a holy site here and it's, it's going to be great. I'm still just being really annoying. I keep spreading my religion using great people. Gaul is going to flip very quickly once once I'm ready. Two cities taken now from the Aztecs, which is better than I thought I would be doing. Another charge of my great general. Bam. He <laughs> Oh, look. I converted all of Gaul's cities except one. Oh, isn't that a shame? I love the fact that Congo, was it Persia? No, Persia just raised that city. Harsh. Harsh, but, you know, fair. We like that style of play. I appreciate it a lot. Oh my god, this continent is just the most frustrating thing. It really is. It really is. Rio is now flipped, which is just really annoying. Hang on, right, let's just get this city quickly, because that's a 13 population one. That'll... That'll really help. Um, I'll move my Inquisitor in. Spread Christmas cheer to it. That'll help with the loyalty. I'll take Belem. Okay, good. Right, keep and keep. What about this? Ten turns and ten turns. Okay. Okay. That's that's good. That's good. We can we can do this. We can we can do better than this. This is fine. Manos is taken as well. Right. Okay. I'm not liberating it to Brazil. It keeps giving me the option as if, like, I'm going to change my mind on the matter. No, of course I'm not. Oh, wow, it is literally just the Congo that I haven't converted to religious chair. Okay, that's because they got that city back. Ah, I see. Fine. Okay, cool. Right, so let's just check back in. Spreading religious chair, we're doing. That is great. We've got a trade route being established to the Congo in nine turns. But um, number three, uh, Aztecs in six turns, and then it's 38 turns. So 38, we've got to get to turn 264. Turn 264, and then we should have trade routes with everyone. Gaul, Mayor, um, 
Congo, Aztecs. Yeah, that's it. And then it's just the coal. The coal I haven't really thought about so much because the coal, being frank, I've been stuck on this tiny little island and I've had very little to do. Um, yeah, so in Persia I've got to do some killing. I've got to do some killing to get all the, <laughs> get all the coal. Oh, Persia has like all of it, like all of it. Oh my word, right, okay, I'll at least have some coal there. The Congo's got some, some here in the Aztec lands. How are people getting on on the science victory? Okay, there is a satellite going into space. Satellites is being done as well. So that's, that's exciting. Oh, don't you dare Persia. I can see that ironclad. I can see it and I don't like what it's doing. Okay, Rio is now mine as well. Ha ha ha. Perfect. I think the loyalty of this island is now stabilizing. Santa has got the central territory and this is where all of our presents are going to be flying from. It's wonderful. A lot of campuses here actually. Once the loyalty comes back into all these cities, my science yield is going to absolutely spiral after I take all of these over. So that's good. So with radio, if I should be able radio. to find all of the aluminium on the map. I don't have any aluminium, I don't think. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Let's have a quick have a look and see where it all is. None on the North Pole, of course there isn't. Ah, oh, I should be so lucky. None in anywhere that I'm claiming as well. Although there is a little bit of there's a prong just off the Congo that I could take, which is relatively exciting. Gaul's got a bunch of aluminium. So does Persia. Actually, Persia's got quite a lot. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's really annoying. I wonder if there's any unclaimed that I could settle on in theory. What about over there? No, that's going to be massively loyalty pressured. Or is it? Let's have a quick look. Yes. Yes, it is. That little island. Yep. Yeah, same deal. Woohoo. Like none on the map. Isn't that fun? Right. Well, I'm just going to have to have, take the 20 aluminium I've got for now and then just rock advanced flight with that. Absorbs the city-state into my empire. I do like this idea. Samarkand. I and mean, it's got to be one I think that I, I follow. Yeah, I was going to say it's a Mexico city because quite frankly, why not? It's quite funny. Ah, wonderful. Divine architect as well. Brilliant stuff. So that means I can now go to this city and be like, have a holy site. And whilst you're at it, have a shrine. And uh, whilst you're at that as well, have a stave church. And maybe whilst you're at that, have a water park. Yay! And like a Ferris wheel. I mean, it's all wonderful, really. Hey, Teo has a trade route. That's the third one done. So Persia's done, Aztec's done, and we've got Brazil done. Like, I've got this all written down on the piece of paper in front of me and I cannot read my own writing because it is terrible. Three turns and then Congo's route is now done as well. One attack, two attacks, and then get Mulan to do the third attack and then I can go take that city, attack, take that city. I have unified and I have basically captured this all there. Now I, I, I kind of want to bring Brazil back into the game so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Belém. Um, what sort of alliance have I got with the Gulf? Yeah, I've got a religious alliance with them. I want to give you Belem. Is that possible? Yes. What would you give me for it? One gold. One whole gold, you say? Deal. Perfect. Now watch as this flips. As soon as it flips, we're going to liberate it again. Give it back to Brazil. It follows my religion. It has a trade post in it. Should be fine. It's Mexico City. Haha! -ha! It's mine. I get 10 loyalty in the city apparently, but yeah, clearly they're... It's not enough. <laughs> I think I should be able to put Victor into it though. How can I do that? Mexico City? Hooray! Yes I can. So it is my city. And it will stay mine. That's awesome. And my trade post in Congo is done. So I've now added to the map all the targets of the coal. You've got one, two, three over in Persia. There's one over in Singapore. Persia has another two down here. So Persia's dead. Persia is dead to me. Gaul is fine. Gaul doesn't have any coal which is wonderful. Congo does have a little bit and the Aztecs have some down there as well. So we've now got them on the map. Nine targets of coal. That's what we're going to be doing. Five turns away from advanced flight, everybody. We're getting there. We're getting there. Actually, the Mayans don't have any either, do they? So that's fine. We can make an alliance with the... Okay, right, fine. We can't make an alliance with the Mayans, but never mind. Religious emergencies. No, Santa doesn't need emergencies. Don't do that. Oh, it passed. 
Never mind. Oh, now this is exciting and actually important. Which city is this? Ada, okay, it's, it's, it's in Gaul's capital. Fine, that's not a problem. I was worried it was going to be near the Congo. Because this is the thing, right? In theory, I'm going to lose or win the game in 400 or uh, 329 turns. So I've got to be a little bit careful here. Like, everyone except... Oh no, somebody else has slipped away. The Aztecs have technically slipped away now. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, that's good. That's good. We like that. They, they founded another city and that's okay. Great. So we're not going to win a religious victory just yet. And that's wonderful. Matthew Perry should hopefully give me Mahanjadaro. Good. Right. That gives me a bunch more housing. Um, the Barbs have battleships now, which is always a little bit worrying. Just like, just a smidge worrying. Rather they didn't have those to be fair. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Headed to the east. You better keep heading to the east, my friend. I don't like. I don't like the direction you're trying to head in right now. Goal. Goal. Right. No. Stop. 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 I'm annoyed now. This is getting. This is getting frustrating. You need to stop. Okay. The land did flip as we hoped it would. That's great. It does have steel walls, which is unfortunate. But we now have advanced flight. An advanced flight is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Right. Let's just flog some luxuries and some coal, and some nitre. We don't need any of this stuff, so we'll get rid of this for as much gold up front as we can get. Um, we've now got 3,883. Really, I need more than that. Let's sell a book or two, or like whatever people want, really. Let's, that's 4,100. I'll sell some paintings. Anyone want paintings? Yeah, the Gaul wants paintings, so that's good. Perfect, and now we can find somewhere with, well, just any airport and I can get myself a bomber. Perfect. In fact, I can forward a second one this turn as well. So it's two bombers. I can fly them down and we can start to attack Persia with them. Um, well, actually, no, Belem is probably the first and best target down here. Um, we're going to, because I have a trade route with this city or like a, a trading hub, I can, I can give it to Brazil. So now that I've got advanced flight, I should probably get stuff like machinery. How did I get advanced flight without machinery? No one's entirely sure, but you know what? It's fine. Let's upgrade. Let's invent a crossbow. Okay, Sousa is in range, which means Magdeburg is going to be in range as well. That is a wonderful thing. North Pole, would you just do me a favor of producing a couple of units for me? I've got lots of, I could get some ironclads. Most of the Persian cities are on the coast, not all of them though. So let's instead get ourselves Oh, what's going to be the case? Let's get, let's get a couple of ironclads. That's good. That's actually going to improve my vampire strength. My vampires can come over, but that'll be good. Mayans want to be friends. Yes, I did want to be friends with the Mayans, and a military alliance with them would be amazing because they are already at war. Oh, World's Fair! I won the World's Fair! Hooray! That's awesome. And they are already at war with Persia and a lot of people actually. So that's fine. Military alliance, go on. Yeah, there we go. Perfect stuff. Okay, I think Persia now. I mean, we could we could easily go to war with them now. Hang on, I've got boats. Boats are plenty in order to get some visibility over here. I've got my. Yeah, we should be able to do a lot of plundering. Actually, I should have taken the raid card, thinking about it rather than drill manuals. Um, the thing to double check is is that Persia. Are you allied with anybody? Yes, they are allied with the Congo. All of a sudden, that's. Unfortunate. Let's try and make friends. No, okay. We might end up declaring war on the Congo by accident, which would be tricky seeing as they now have a bunch of units over here. So we've got to actually go and rescue our religious units before we do this because we may well accidentally get killed. Let's try this, but sometimes you can just join in a war like this and you don't declare war on the Congo. No, it did. We declared war on the Congo, but that's fine because the Congo and Persia are both cities that we have trading hubs with, so there was no need to stay friendly with them. Might as well just enjoy a couple of initial bombing runs and just go from there, really. We know where our targets are. These are the coals that we've got to obtain. Should be fine. Uh, I've just hit the 10-turn timer as well. We've got to get 15 era score. 15 more. That's actually not so bad, really. Gaul wants to be friends. Yes, I do want to be friends with Gaul. That's a good one because they don't have any coal. So I don't need to go to war with them. 
I need to buy things with gold. That's quite nice. We'll go for a diplomatic victory point this time on the Mayans. And I'll go for no neutralizing governors, please. Don't do it. Don't think about it. Just nobody bother. Okay, the gold went through. That's good. That means I can actually buy planes in cheaper. So lots and lots of planes. Now, Persia do have the capacity to build planes. Actually, no. Is that an airport or is that just a... No, it is an aerodrome. So they do, in theory, have the capacity for planes. So I need to be a little bit careful here. My pillaging, though, knows no bounds. So we're just going to continue pillaging for a while. Okay, Balam is now free. And we're going to liberate it back to Brazil. Who hopefully... Look at that relationship. 39. These guys should just immediately love me. One bomber run, two bomber runs. I think next turn we should be able to easily come and swallow up this lovely little city. It's the pillaging though. The pillaging, the extra faith, everything that you get from that. It's just the yields are insane. Oh, I love a good old vampire pillage. They're so powerful. Just the, the healing on pretty much any tile you pillage. Alright, bomber, bomber, vampire into this city and kabamo. Keep it. Do I liberate it? No. No, I do not. So unfortunately, looking at this, Belem, even though I had a trading post there, I no longer do. It doesn't count as me having one anymore. So unfortunately, Brazil, you're you're <laughs> you can't stick around in this game. This is not gonna be this is not going to be one for you long term. I'm sorry about that, but you know, I, I, I wish you all the best with your endeavours. Oh, Congo just lost a city and then I just gained religion over a little one. Oh, wow. Okay, we need to be really careful now. So it is just the Aztecs. It's just the Aztecs that I haven't spread Christmas cheer to. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's one of the coal targets done though. So I have finished one target already. Ulm is next. Brazil wants a friendship. No. No, stop asking Brazil. You... Ever since you burnt down the trading post, Santa has not been friendly with you. I... I disagree. I disagree with your existence. Gee, that's some aluminium there. I've got to keep, out for, keep an eye out for sources of aluminium. Because I need some for planes, because I've only got four left. There's some there, and I might get some in a bit. There's some over there. Okay, so actually the Congo have some as well, so that could be a shout. Maybe I just need to attack the Congo. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, Brazil, 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 Brazil. Okay, they unfortunately won't lose loyalty, because I liberated them like an idiot. Ugh, Brazil, right, uh, 50, t I mean, honestly, is that 42 turns is the smallest I can do? Really? Is that, is that true, Ailson? I mean, look, I've got cities, like, literally here. Brasilia, 48 turns to finish up to, oh, for goodness sake, right, you know what? Screw this, screw this. I brought you into this world, Brazil, so I can take you out of it. There is ballistics, actually. I'm just was going to give myself some culture, if I can, just to hopefully get myself the raid card. Hang on. If I just go plump like that. There we go. Ideology. Now I can get rid of religious orders and give myself... Oh, no, not religious orders. Drill manuals. And give myself the raid. Or the total war, as they call it these days. Give myself a five-year plan as well. A bit more science. Huzzah! 220. Lovely stuff. But more importantly now... I'm going to be pillaging like a boss. I think today Santa will be communist. I just, I feel like, feel like a bit of communism this game. Okay, the Congo can actually wipe out my boats in one hit with a city wall. So I just need to be a little bit careful. Doesn't matter though. We will just continue to pillage from the Congonese lands. It's kind of why we're here really. Strategy. Military science has been boosted. The vampires are just on their merry way. Just town to town, pillaging like crazy Green i built some basil's cathedral Another, in rudolph i think because i was like black. yay a for tundra yield why didn't i build it and i did and, and now i built it i'm very happy i'm proud of like myself Woohoo! nice stuff very good very good yeah sorry brazil but i'm really not that sorry you were just being annoying right. rifling and a little bit of extra culture for class struggle 
In fact, how many industrial zones have I got these days? I'm, I feel like I've got quite a few. I have a factory in the North Pole and in Rudolph, but I'm sure I have another industrial zone somewhere. Especially in the cities I've just taken over. You've got to think I've got at least one in here, right? Yeah, over here. Uh, oh, I'm fixing it. Damn. I was going to say, could I build a third factory? But nope, not an option. Ulm is mine now, I believe. Thank you very much, Ulm. I will take that. doop a doop a doop class. class struggle. Okay, communism time. We've got a lot more military policy slots and some economic slots as well now. So that's pretty cool. Collectivism is, is useless. I'm not really using that at all. Press gangs, total war. Don't need press gangs anymore, but levy on mass would be helpful. And I think wars of religion. No, I've spread my religion so well. Let's go for more aluminium. That will be needed once I pick up a source of aluminium, which I should do very shortly. And I think, what else are we going to get? Let's go for Trade Confederation. Get myself a little bit more just stuff. Ah, lovely. Oh, oh, Tikal has a trading post now. That has a trading post. Did you see that? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Which city was it that was doing the trading? It's this one. Tikal. Yes. Perfect. That's the Mayans. Gaul. Only Gaul. Only Gaul has the good boys and girls I need to visit in 13 turns. How are the victories doing? The Congo has got satellites, but not nanotech. Neither does Montezuma. That's good. So, so far, so good. That coal is now mine as well. So I've got another target there, and I want to take that aluminium, because at the moment, my bombers have a bit of an aluminium glutage. A minus 20. Ugh. Oh, that's horrible. The millions are being sneaky here. Really sneaky. I think they're going to steal that city from me. It doesn't have any coal, so I don't mind, but it does have aluminium. And aluminium is absolutely what I need right now because my planes are just shockingly weak. I mean, ultimately, now that they're shockingly weak, it doesn't matter how weak they are in theory. So I've been holding off buying more. Actually, I can't buy more because I've got insufficient resources. So yeah, I do need them. Oh, god damn. This is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Never mind. It's not stopping my vampires from just going and cleaning up, but it's really annoying. Oh no. Oh no, my traders can be plundered now. Oh damn, right, that's that's really annoying. I gotta keep an eye on that one. What can I do? Stein scars. Stein scars? Stein scars? Oh dear. Spaceport and aerodrome districts. 15% science and 15% production cities with either a spaceport or aerodrome. Uh, that's, it's, it's okay, that's okay. Solidarity, all governors exert additional two pressure. All cities with governors receive gold and faith. Give me some extra gold. 50 gold per turn. Not bad to arms. That's pretty good as well. I mean, this is a this is a wild card. Colonial officers that would help me to just I'll keep colonial officers on myself just for a second because I do need the extra loyalty just in a couple of these cities as I'm taking them over. But it won't last long. Combined arms. We managed to accelerate through to that very quickly. That's awesome. Okay, now we've got that. I could do a stealth tech jet bombers and the extra strength they give are very very good. No, we don't like betrayal emergencies. Brazil don't even exist, so how are you going to do one of those anyway? Um, I mean, no idea. What's, what trade route was this? Uh, Persia have plundered the trade route um, between uh, Sing to Singapore. To Singapore. Okay, that's good. So my Gaul route, which is the last one, is still good. And that's still here, and that's going between what it should be a relatively safe space. Now this religious emergency is not going well for me because they keep stealing this goddamn city from me. Christmas cheers back and I've got missionaries with eight charges between them and they're gonna stand there and they're gonna burn every single charge into that city. I'm not going to res not going to fall. Which is not gonna happen. And this city should now be mine. Hurrah! Huzzah! That's 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 a word. And now aluminium. Oh, thank God. Right, we should now have some aluminium in the Empire, which should be good. Hello. That's a lot of death. Um, okay, we're just going to ignore that for a second and just pretend that's not a thing. That's pretty scary. <laughs> I'm just literally just this, like, plunder city down here. I love it. Oh, there's loads of uranium on this island. Oh, Brazil, you shouldn't have. Oh, yeah, and I've been finding other aluminium around the map, so there we go. Sprawling Empire, and I've got four aluminium per turn, 
which is good. So next turn we should be able to buy a couple more planes. Instantly creates a battleship, you say. Mm hmm. More importantly, I think he gave coal when you popped him. So I want to do that pretty quickly. Yeah, great. Lovely stuff. Six aluminium for improvements. Really? Really? Six? Why have I suddenly got six? What did I do? What have I done? What have I done that's so good all of a sudden? None of these are important. So that's one I just settled. That's good. I've got another one I'm about to go and settle. Um, that's the one I've just improved. Oh no, it's it's two sources and they're both getting three each. Of course they are. Ah, because I've got the card that does that. Okay, great. Right, one bomber, two bombers, three bombers. Lovely stuff. Right, we'll, we'll just ferry those over to the front line. Nice and quick. This is the new city that I'm taking out now. Perfect stuff. Pillage. Plastics is mine. And then synthetic materials is on the way. That city's mine now. Perfect. Keep. That's the coal. That's the target. Get the builder. Go and improve. I didn't need to do that. Didn't need to do that. Never mind. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trefidaskby, Paul Coffee, Senjik, and Kroger Brand Trail Mix for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you very much.